What's up? So this video is going to be all about editing and coloring on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera footage. Here we go. So yeah, we're talking about this guy, uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. My first shoot I ever did with the Blackmagic Camera was that one in Venice. I had no idea what I was doing. There was even like a sensor error. They shipped it and it was it was wrong. So let's just talk about the Venice shoot real quick. I used the Blackmagic Camera, obviously. I had the Metabones EF to BMPCCT Speed Booster. The Speed Booster is great on the Blackmagic because you can then you you know convert to any other lens system you want to use. I used a Canon. Uh, that got my, I think I used the 16 to, what did I use? I think I used the Canon 16 to 35. It was a T4, um, sorry, F4. It had image stabilization. If you've used this camera, you already know how shaky all the footage is. If you've watched the video, you already know that all the shots either happen at dusk or they happen at dawn. So automatically the lighting is just incredible in Venice. That's a big, that's a big part of the image that, that you watched. The second thing that's really, really important if you want to expose correctly on the Blackmagic camera is this, a variable ND filter. I would have no footage if I would not have brought this filter. So last thing I'm gonna say is this was my first edit with the Blackmagic camera. I edited the entire thing on a MacBook Pro 2011. Like, horrible, horrible computer for video editing, but that's all I had at the time. So I'm pretty sure my workflow was not what I would normally do and it's gonna look ridiculous, but I'll still just show you exactly what I did so that you can see it. All right, so let's dive into the computer. I'll show you exactly how I colored it, how I edited it. It's gonna be really, really simple, I promise. It's easy stuff. All right, so here is the mess that is my Venice video. <laughs> Again, this was edited on a MacBook 2011. So I had to do, it looks like a few different steps here to get to the final product. Ooh, that looks good too. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So here's how we set it up. All of my Blackmagic files are down here. They're all ProRes HQ. I did a denoise first of all because everything was pretty low lit and there's a lot of noise when you do low light on the Blackmagic camera. So I, for that, I used Denoiser 2. I think that is a Magic Bullets um, plugin. Wow, it looks like I used a 60% reduction over the whole thing. It's actually a lot. Let's see what that did just by turning this off here. So here's before. This is with the denoiser. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It's a, it's a, it's a massive difference. Um, so it was obviously necessary. So here is uh, before the denoiser, which I really like the way this looks. It looks very grainy. Looks good. This is using the denoiser. It actually got rid of all of that grain. I gotta say, looking back at it, I like the footage a lot more without the denoiser. Um, I wish I would have not have used that. Maybe just to fix a little bit of that, the digital color noise, but not so much all that grain. I like the grain a lot. So that was my first layer that I did. I got rid of the noise. My next one, which is probably the one you're all most interested in, is the main LUT, which actually changes a couple times throughout this. So again, I'm using the, how do you say it? Osiris, Os I guess it's called Osiris LUTs. I used a few different ones. The, we'll start with uh, this shot. Everyone loves this shot. Everyone always asks me, how did you color that shot? How did you take that shot? So let's take it down to the very basic. This is the file that I shot. That's what it looks like. This is the final image after noise reduction, my coloring, and some sharpening. So that's what it ended up looking like. That's an awesome shot. I love that shot. So the LUT is just, I think this is like the, the only time I use the M31. Yeah, this is a M31 log 32 LUT. So in the, in the LUT package from Osiris, I forget which package this is, but these are all the different um, ones I use for a lot of these projects. On this specific scene, I use M31. Uh, got rid of pretty much every color except for a slight bit of orange and a lot of this aqua blue. I just love the way, I love the way it made that cement pop and the contrast that it added. The only thing I did on the actual file, I didn't do shit on the file itself. I guess I liked it enough to where, so it was wrong with it. And it does, it looks amazing. I, lo I love how this scene looks. So it's that, <laughs> this is a great example of, of how minimal the work I did on the, making this thing look cool. This one shot, M31 LUT. So this might be one of my favorite scenes from the whole thing. It's when we just got on the gondola and uh, it's the first reveal of what it looks like to be on it. I just love, I love, love, love the colors. Um, so to the actual file itself, I darken the image a bit. And then I have a LUT on this one. It's the 
Vision 4 Log 32, which is in that same pack I showed you a minute ago. Um, that's it. Um, I guess a big thing I should point out is that you have to, there's two different settings you can shoot on the Blackmagic camera. You can shoot in video, you can shoot in film. Well, film gives you that really low contrast, no saturation log image. And so when you put a log correcting LUT, like the Vision 4 Log 32 or the M31 Log 32, I'm not gonna explain to you how LUTs work. You can go figure that out on another YouTube video. But I really wanted my blues and my oranges to pop a lot because there weren't a lot of any other colors there. The sky was clear and a lot of the, a lot of the, the whites were very off-white. Um, and so I knew it was gonna work really, really well. So yeah, I'll show you before and after this real quick. This is this is the image that I recorded. This is exactly what it looked like. You got this whole line thing right there. That was a sensor error. Um, and they, they sent me a messed up sensor and I had to send it back and it was a big old mess, but. And then here's with my corrections. Mm, this is what I used as the thumbnail. So this is uh, what I shot. And this is what we walked away with. Super awesome. This is still just a log 32. I don't, I probably, so I used a warp stabilizer. Um, I added contrast to this one. Some brightness, contrast. This camera, if you've ever used it, is very, very, very shaky. The sensor is so small that any subtle jitter is gonna be picked up. So I used on a lot of these clips about a 5% stabilization and warp stabilizer just to get rid of some of that very, very minute handshake. I still wanted it to feel pretty natural. Um, and so I didn't want to get rid of all of it, but just the little little dips, I wanted to get rid of that. And a 5% warp stabilizer does a lot. So here's a scene really close to St. Mark's Square. Um, this is the uh, this is the image I shot, which is, I mean, you can look at that and go, how did you turn this into anything? And so then we did a fast color corrector, which is a white balance thing, a little bit of contrast. Uh, I think we added a little bit of brightness to it, so we're starting to look a little bit better. But when we add our LUT on, we make all these oranges and we warm the whole thing up and you can see some reds pop a little. Of course, we would still denoise it. I mean, this is just the definition of, <laughs> of easy, guys. All I did was put the LUT, a small amount of contrast, and then put this anamorphic Photoshop file on there. Super, super simple stuff. So the last thing I wanna talk about is I did add film convert to the whole the whole movie just to really kind of glue everything together. And my settings are pretty simple. Um, I just use the KD5207 35 millimeter full frame. Uh, no softness, my film color was only about 16%, which didn't add a lot. Uh, the curve was at 98% and my grain was at 30%. I don't like a lot of grain on there, but I do think that since I was taking out so much of that noise, I wanted to add some grit back to it. So that plus the sharpening uh, could really, I think, glued the whole thing together. This is the image without film convert. You can see that sensor error in there. This is the image uh, with film convert. Very subtle, not a big deal, um, but I do think it added, it added a really nice touch to it. I love this video. Now, let me show you an example of some of the footage I shot, just so you know that I'm not making all this stuff up. This one's in there. This is typically how it goes. My girlfriend waits for me as I as I film something. So yeah, I mean, guys, anyone can shoot this stuff. Um, my edits were really really simple. I denoised it. I added a LUT, uh, fixed a little bit of contrast, some white balance. I added film convert, just a very small amount. I sharpened at the end. Added my anamorphic uh, Photoshop file. That's it. And this is again. This is like beginner Jordan not knowing what he's doing, just really winging it. Um, I, I didn't know anything about coloring a video. I didn't know anything about editing a video hardly. I just knew that I had a black magic camera and I wanted to make something out of it. And that was the whole, that's the whole point, the point of all this. Just go and try it. Just go and make it. You don't know what you'll come up with. Maybe you'll make something where someone will eventually have to make a video about how they did it because everyone's asking you. I had no idea that was gonna happen when I made this. This was just something I, I really, really wanted to do. And I did it. So what do you think right now? It's pretty simple stuff, right? No big tricks to it. Finally, a videographer shows you what let they used on the video so you can go copy it. Look, if you wanna copy the idea, go for it. All I ask is that you make something unique. Now take what I did and go do your own thing and then send it to me so I can watch it because I, I love watching these. If you have any questions about any of that, let me know. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something. Uh, let me know what you think about my Venice video, about this video. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to do some more stuff or at least how I do it anyway. It's probably not right, but it, it looks cool a lot of the time. All right, thanks guys.
Later.